Hello, it's Nick. Today I want to show you how to design animated neomorphic button in Figma. I will use these three colors for my task. And first, let's change the canvas color. Neomorphic designs work best on soft, neutral backgrounds like gray or light blue. Let's type a text label, submit, choose a legible font such as Roboto, in medium weight and 24 pixel size. Select text element and add it to auto layout. Change horizontal and vertical paddings to 24. Add a fill color. Choose the same fill color as the color of a background. Make the button slightly wider. Add a corner radius of 24 pixels. Now magic time. Navigate to the effects section and click plus to add a drop shadow. Click on a drop shadow icon and set properties. X equal to 8, Y equal to 8, Blur equal to 16, and replace the black color of the shadow to the second color from my collection. The bottom part of the button looks fine. Now we need to apply the effect to the top part of the button. We need to add another drop shadow. And in the properties set X equal to minus 8, Y equal to minus 8, Blur equal to 16, and for color I will go with pure white. Set opacity to 100%. Final touch. Let's change the color of the text label from black to the last one in my list. Ok, now we got the idle state of our button. Let's set the mouse hover state. To do that, I will create a copy of my button and change the drop shadow properties. Basically, what I will do is I will divide each setting by 2. So instead x equal to 8, we will get x equal to 4. It will reduce the size of the casted shadow. And for the color of the shadow, I will reduce opacity to 70%. Let's do the same with the top part of the button. Rename the frames to 1 and 2, select them and create a component set. Give it a name, button. And switch to the prototype mode. Create a transition from first to second variant. Trigger will be mouse hover, animation will be smart animate, is in and out with default duration. Time to test our design. Create a test frame and apply the same fill color as the color of the canvas. Navigate to the Assets tab and drag and drop our button to the test frame. Select Test Frame and click Preview. Looks good. Let me know what you think about this design and neomorphic style in general.